Today we're going to take a look at the McPherson guitar pick. Uh, McPherson was a designer of graphite guitars. He came out with his own line of guitar picks, including a graphite model. Uh, this pick is patented, and that patented the patent was filed October of 1980, and he was uh, later granted a patent two and a half years ago in May of 1983. Now these five picks on this side were made uh, sometime between he applied for the patent in 1980 and the time in which he was granted because they all say patent pendant, patent pending on them, as you can see right here. And if that's not clear, let me just bring one up. and You'll see patent pending. In addition, uh, these colors, all of these colors, in fact, this particular shade of red, but especially these three, were all associated with that group. These uh, these colors in themselves weren't produced uh, post patent in 1983. There was a blue a variation, and we could see that over here. It appears to be green, but it's actually a light light blue. So uh, you also have the McPherson pick holder right here, and these five picks are the 1980s designs, early 1980s designs. And uh, you could, they could be found in the 1990s, early 90s, and that's when I acquired this group. Uh, <clears throat> the early uh, yellow is a mustard yellow, the blue is an off shade, uh, deeper green and a deeper red. And we'll take a look at some of those variations. So we have this group here, pre-patent, and this group here, post-patent, made in the 1980s. Now, they continued to be made later 80s, early 90s, and uh, there was a variation in some colors. I'm going to show you that uh, right here. Here is the brighter variation of yellow right there that was later made, and then the, the difference in the blue, as you could see right there, and the difference uh, in, in the greens, or the green right there, as you could see, that's also different and the red was a little bit louder in color so you see those variations there uh, in the yellows the blues and the greens between the earlier models which we which were first on the board and, and the later models number of other variations there are color variations as you can see amongst these blues here and these blues and uh, right here too one a little more mustard than the other other and variations in the red tone as well it's being much deeper. Take a look at the patent right now. You could see where he had filed for that patent right here. and was granted that patent right there. He calls it the studio design. And in this case, the actual illustration of the pick is uh, very true to the pick that was produced. It's not uncommon for the illustration in the actual patent to be different than the design that was actually manufactured in some way, but here it's it's very consistent, as we can see. So the McPherson, unusual shape, neat pick, variety of colors, including the graphite model. And you see it says Studio Design right on it. It has the patent number right on it. And just to highlight the uh, pre-patent, said McPherson Studio Design and patent pending. Thanks for joining me this video. We'll see you in a few more. Joe Macy, finepick7 at yahoo.com. Feel free to contact me any way you like. Take care. Bye-bye.